Hello, this is Mario from Team M Bomb, and I'm here with the one and only Char807. Sup? So yeah, today we're going to be reacting to Let Me Explain Studios, My Terrible Mouth Accident. This was released only four hours ago. And I wanted, at first I wanted to react to my school dress codes, but I just couldn't wait to see it. So instead we're just going to be reacting to this. Uh, how about I'm an even 50? So, you ready to go? Yeah, I'm ready. I want to watch this video. Alright, let's go. Let's go. Is that the tooth fairy? Yeah, it's Samson. Pablo, leave a message. <laughs> oh, hey, hey, Pablo, it's Henry. Listen, I'm kind of having one of those existential crises right now, and I could really use a Wait, legitimizing pause, pause. second opinion here. What? There was this one time where I was like, I was like, I had this like, Every time I lost a tooth, like, it would leave the tooth, like, and I just had, like, the five dollars they gave me. Yeah. It was, like, hilarious. I like, you can continue the video. So that's all you wanted to say? Yeah, I wanted to do that. Yeah. Um, how are we still in a job? If no one in this timeline has a mouth, then why exactly is there a need for two fairies? Yeah, she and, doesn't and more so, John mouth. doesn't this make this very oh, yeah. difficult to tackle any mouth-related topics in this world? I just don't know! Mouth it just feels mouth. like a big mouth oversight on the part of the creator! Anyways, call me back. Please. Bye. No. Oh, gosh. Hello, my geeks and peeps, my explainers and entertainers, my little oodle lollies. All right, we're we get it. I'm here. You yeah. read the title. You know what we're talking about. Yeah. And I bet you're oh, all geez. saying to yourself, oh, Becca's got herself in a real pickle Oh, that's now. me. How's she going to tell a story about her mouth when she doesn't have one? <laughs> oh, yeah, that's right. Chill out. I got this. There you go, problem solved. Oof. Anytime I gotta show you a mouth, Sheep. it's post-its to the rescue. Wow. All right, enough of that. Let's move on. Injuries, effect. accidents, life-altering wounds that scar us oh. physically and Oof. emotionally. I got yeah, they ones. make great stories, don't oh. they? And don't Charlie, speaking yeah. of heads, um, are you gonna tell them about the time you you got scraped on the head by an eagle? Oh yeah, there was this one time in Florida where I was biking, and an eagle swoops down and scratches me on the head. I run back to the house, screaming my head off, like, get it off, get it off, get it off. My dad's like, what happened, Charlie? Did you get, did a bee sting? You're like, no, and he, a hawk attacked me. Yeah, that's hor horrifying. Florida's full of dangerous animals. Yeah. We just love telling them. Dude, you want to see my scar? Got attacked no. by a mountain lion. Fought it off with my bare hands. That's his appendectomy scar. Mom! Honestly, I've been rather fortunate. I haven't injured myself too many times in life. I mean, my dad accidentally pulled my arm out of my socket when no. I was six. I got hit in the face with a softball when I was in middle school and had a uh. shiner for a week. I slipped in water in high school and tore cartilage in my no. knee. The girl in theater dropped a heavy uh. set piece on my foot and I had to do the rest <laughs> of the show with only one chew on. I broke my toe, banging it on a platform trying to get off stage. You know, like, maybe I'm more bad accident luck. prone than I thought. Yeah. I wonder how much football helmets cost. But my big injury story that I always tell people happened when I was very young. And it involves... Kid Rebecca. My teeth. I personally don't remember it at all, but my sister says she has a traumatizingly clear memory of it. That, and of course... I'm guessing it involves the it. dentist. Actual content warning here, this story might bloody. get just a wee bit graphic, yeah. because, you know me, I've never been averse to a little bit of blood. Or a gallon or two. Oh! For the brave souls still watching, let's get this show on the road! Well, where did you get that blood from, huh? Is that a Carrie reference? I don't know. Hey, I'm gonna ask her a question. Hey! Rebecca, where did you get that blood? You asked too many questions. Okay, then. When I was about three years old, Dad wanted to have a play fort built in the backyard for me and my sister. Four to he four. called over a family friend who happened to be a carpenter so they could draw up some plans oh, yeah. and discuss how big it should be and where to put it. Mom wasn't home at the time, so to keep an eye on me and my sister, Dad let us run around the backyard while he and the carpenter talked things over. So in our backyard, I don't know if that's a, a good porch, idea. And by the law of the South, if y'all have a porch, you gotta have a porch swing. Which we did. I'm guessing she's, it wasn't th very good she's one. Southern. Dad was keeping a watchful eye on us, but as any parent will tell you, the worst things always happen when you turn your back for just a moment. And yeah, Dad was I know. That's how I managed to climb up on this porch swing. I stood up on it, and I guess in my three-year-old mind, I thought I was on one of those playground spring horses, so I began rocking my it back and forth. Yeah. And apparently and I was not it. holding back. Maybe because this will happen. Your girl was I kind of have a feel what's going to happen. Somewhere. I don't know. Now, remember how I said this wasn't a very good porch swing? Well, good porch swings are designed so they can't flip over. But this one... Hey, dude, look. In the camera, her hair is black. Oh, yeah, it is. Yeah. But, guys, it's brown. Okay? 
well. <laughs> No. <laughs> oh no. Oof. Well, Charlie, now you know why your aunt doesn't like you on that porch swing. No, she just doesn't want to touch it because she doesn't want us to break it. Or that could happen. Yeah, she wants to keep it like just sits there. She likes and she wants us to walk it back in slowly. Dad heard my screams and he ran over in a panic. Daddy he senses. He me up off the ground and there was nothing but blood. I had bitten through my top lip, which oh. left this handsome little scar later, and the force of the fall had pushed my front teeth back and up into my head. Ah. The moment to lose dead, oh. me and Rachel threw us into the back of the that car and something from Happy Tree Friends. Rachel sat next to me the whole ride, holding my head back so I wouldn't bleed on everything, and being only yeah, but it'll slide down your mouth. Naturally, she was freaking out, and Dad was even more distraught, feeling like the worst father in the world. But as he quietly yeah, your wife's gonna kill you. All mad. of a sudden, he heard from the back seat. What? Well, I guess that's what you call more rebound than a kickball. No, I don't Ow. think Dad appreciated the musical number. When we got to the hospital, the doctors ended up having to push my teeth back into their original oh. position. Oh. But these teeth were pretty much destroyed. Oh, and when Mom showed up to the hospital, she said Dad was covered in blood and looked like that he'd lost a fight with an angry cat. Ah, poor Dad. There yep. wasn't anything more that the doctors could do at the hospital, but we still had to wait two weeks for me to heal before I could see a dentist. Yeah. And what the dentist ended up having to do was give my front two teeth a root canal oh. and then fill it with a compound so it would stay in my head until my permanent teeth were ready to come in. That's confusing. You know, I'm actually really glad that I don't remember any of this. Yeah. I'm already insane in the membrane enough as it is. Insane Who knows how bad I'd membrane. be today if I had to carry around this childhood trauma with me. The whole ordeal had basically killed my front two teeth, and they yeah. turned Oof. yellow. Also, the next tooth over needed a half metal crown on the back of it, and given that teeth are translucent, <laughs> that made the tooth look green. So yeah, for the next few years of yeah. my childhood, I was walking around with yellow and green teeth. Yeah, Just and ignore all the bullies. Of mine. I think I had these teeth until I was about six or seven, and as you can imagine, such- She looks like a boy in that image. Yeah, but don't worry, Rebecca. Don't Door, young Rebecca. Ignore all those bullies. You're beautiful either way. I'm not assuming gender, so don't the get mad at me. The blue face not only messed up my yeah. baby teeth, but my permanent teeth came in wonky as well. In fact, when I went to the orthodontist to get braces in middle school, she discovered I had four permanent teeth that were supposed to come in, oh. but were stuck up in my gums. Oh. I had to get teeth removed so that I think I might have actually had that. Was a train Ooh. wreck. Thankfully, Ooh, train. I think I finally got these chompers under control. They ain't perfect, but who could blame them after going through such misery? It's okay, Teeth. You're good enough. That's why I never animate you. And for those who oh. wonder, yes, my dad did eventually get that play fort built. I'd have thought he'd think twice about letting his clumsy daughter up in high places, but yeah. eh, none of the param children ever fell out of that fort. Yeah, that's a bad father, a isn't it? Yeah, uh, should have had her on a leash. What not to do. Yeah. You hear that, Mom? Your daughter's a trailblazer. Hey, explainers, just wanted to say thanks to... Oh, I love Edic. All right. Edic's the best. Additional storyboarding by Megan Mayher and additional voices by Eddie Bra Browley. Bully. He's, I love that channel. Edic yeah. is, is great. Yeah. Subscribe so, to him. He's great. Yeah. So what did you think of this video, Charlie? I thought it was like, yeah, it was kind of like a less well version done of Happy Tree Friends. Well, it's, well, in my opinion, this video really showed the idiotic, the, the idiotic, idiocy of her father yeah well she has a lot of like crazy stories i thought you never seen her before i, I seen her channels before a few episodes of her ah i heard her before but like she yeah. has a lot of crazy episode like videos on it ah. in my opinion yeah well anyway guys i think it's time to bring this crossover reaction video to a close thanks for watching don't forget to like comment subscribe and make sure to check out charlie's channel there's a link in the description and i'll oh, see idea. you next time We'll Late. do more like this. Yeah. Okay. Bye. Bye.